together doing the show and today I'm very excited because you said you were going to come back and talk about your book and hold that up and show everybody this is Confessions of a Christian Woman and this is Antonia's new book and she's going to be telling us like what's going on I know you're doing new things I'm, yes. I'm very interested in the Facebook talk and some of you have seen Antonia do this Facebook live yes thank you and how did that go tell us about oh, that want, well thank you so much so I'm doing a series every month at the end of the month uh -huh. um, talking discussing the book reading a little snippet about the book and as well um, opening it to a forum of Q&A mm -hmm. and I've had some interesting questions that have come my way that I've been able to answer and I'm just giving advice just based on my own experience in my life. So it's kind of like do as I say, not as I did. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Think it through thoroughly. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's, so, that's what I've been doing. And, um, you know, some people have been uh, purchasing the book and reading it and uh, giving me their feedbacks, which is really nice. And I know the feedback's been positive because we have a goddess brunch. And I hold it every other month to get all my goddess friends together. And what we do yes. is if, if we have we're authoring books, we like to share it. And we did Antonia's last week. And everybody loved it. And I read it. And it's amazing. And how was your experience with the feedback from the goddess group? Um, it was fantastic. I mean, just the women actually reading the book mm -hmm. and finding out about my marriage. And they were know. excited. They were they excited. They were asking a lot of questions. Yes, they were. Yeah. I was so appreciative yeah. of that yeah. because, you know, when you, you live something out and then you write about it and people are reading it, I'm sure there's like, wow, this really happened to you? This is crazy. But... Yeah. You know what? I was so appreciative of their questions and how I was able to elaborate a little bit more yeah. outside of the book, yeah. uh, which was great for me to do as well yeah. because the more I can talk about it, the more of a healing process it is for me as well. Yeah. So, yeah. And like I said to you, I feel it's a, a good situation for younger women, especially younger women. They still get married. People yes, are still getting yes, married. Yes, yes. To read something like this beforehand. Yes. Because it helps with seeing red flags. Yes, it does. Or, mm -hmm. it, And that's very important because when yes. we're in love, sometimes we don't want to yeah. see the red flags. So it's important to pay Dismiss attention it to Because that. we're like, oh, maybe it's my imagination yeah. or I, I'm just like overreacting or something. Mm -hmm. And then you come to find out <laughs> 17 years later. Yeah. Now <laughs> like you're, you're not overreacting. But you're still married. Right? I am you're, still married wow. to my husband. Yes, I am. God bless you. Years. Thank you. <laughs> so do you speak to your husband? I All mean, the time. Okay. Every day. We're in good communication with each other. We're still trying to make it through this process because be, having a marriage is not easy. Um, <laughs> having a marriage is very challenging. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, it's about really learning uh, so many things, not just about the other individual, but about coming together as one into the marriage, which I think has been the hardest for me because I've always been so independent my whole yeah. life. And now, you know, it's like I got to talk to somebody else. Like I can't talk to myself. Yeah, and you were financially independent. You oh, yes, I was. Home and yes. everything. Mm -hmm. So, yes. and it's yes. just as easy to it's, do. I'm very aware of my too. mistakes. That's I'm how I learned. I'm very aware That's of the choices that I made. And I'm very aware of that the choices I did make um, put me on a, a additional journey to my regular journey of things that I had to overcome, oversee. And just really rely on my Heavenly Father to help yeah. me do that process. Yeah. But I've been married and I've been on the journey and I've been just every day working at it. Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect either. Nobody's perfect in any marriage. But after a while you get to know the person and you get to find out that, okay, if they're just like that, they're just like that. They're not going to change for me, right? You know, they're also how has your husband's reaction been? I oh mean, my gosh, um, my husband was the very first person that I gave the book to read to, aside from the original publisher I had for the book, um, and he actually weeped 
Um, he cried. He said to me he had no idea how he was treating me. Like he knew that he was being tough with me and being rough and, and at times would lash out at me, but he just did not know that I was keeping a so diary it really about it. him a lot oh, to absolutely. address yes. his issues yes, and correct. everything that's good. Correct, and that was key. Because when I spent, that was That's the confirmation wonderful. that doing the book, being obedient to what God asked me to do, was what he was yeah. planning on doing with my husband. Yeah. So, it, and then, you know, my husband did the forward, which I felt was appropriate at the time, too. Oh, would you, could, would you read that forward, Becky? Oh, sure. I absolutely. to hear that. It's not um, too long, right? So we all seem to be searching for something in our lives to satisfy a void that is missing. The only thing is that we don't want... We, we don't know what to expect until we take that challenge head on. I have realized that the way we accept the challenges in our given situations depends on the outcome. If we take the stumbling blocks of our lives and decide to fall or use them as stepping stones to become encouraged, it's really our freedom of will or choices we make that will make the difference. God will not force his will upon you or me in order for him to accomplish our destinies. I've gone through many fast growing pains from a dysfunctional family and a quick first marriage that ended in a very sad divorce that should have driven me insane. Thank God that because there was someone always praying for me, it made a world of difference in my life, which was his mother, which was my mother. Considering that I had my experience from my first failed marriage, I figured after 19 years, it's time to attempt once again, not knowing that what was ahead of me. So I said, I did say I do and I will, and thought afterwards, oh no, what have I done? So even my husband was questioning oh, himself, he had, right? Yeah, his own Not realizing that I had some reservations from my previous. So I felt lack of communication between my spouse and myself. We need to be very careful not to have such high expectations from someone when we should just allow the Holy Spirit to do His work. Mm -hmm. I would like to take this time to first thank God, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit for doing a mighty work in my wife, Antonia, for giving her the courage, the wisdom, and revelation to write this first edition. And it just continues to go on how he's so grateful that I'm his wife. Yeah. And well, that's that. wonderful. Yeah. So that really, so it really is helped. a healing tool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I, oh. Our husband is vouching that all this stuff did happen. So Okay, so now, yeah. now tell us, where can people get the book? They can get the book on Amazon.com. They can get the um, book okay. on Lulu.com. They can get it on some and of the we'll other platforms. And we'll have a address going Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, they can also get it on Depository, on all the different platforms that are relative also to Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. And very soon it'll be also on Barnes and Noble. Okay. And it's on Kindle, too. On it's Amazon. on Kindle. Yeah. You can get That's it on e good. So you, so you have so no much. excuse not to get this yeah. book and read it. It will help you. And yeah. it's also a good idea to share, to get it. Maybe if you know someone who's getting married or right. younger people. Right. Right. It's a good book to get for a gift in the holidays or right around the yes. corner. <laughs> a basket of surprises. <laughs> Well, Antonia, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. It's for good to have you back. Let me have a hug. Thank you okay. so much. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you so much. Okay, and have a good day. And thank remember, you, everybody, yes. we want you to subscribe. Suscribe. And keep coming back. Yes. We love you. Adios. Bye.